So the world's been falling apart and you are quarantined inside with only slippy rollback melee netplay to distract yourselves. And today I'm going to teach you something that you can do with all that slippy footage. Today we are going to automate a combo video. Let's see if I can do anything worth clipping on my last stock. It's super easy, it saves you so much time, and it's a great way to like track your progress, flex, do anything like that, self-promotion, whatever you want. By the end of this video, you will be able to make a combo video from front end to back in under two hours. That includes getting clips, that includes editing, that includes the spots where your computer's gonna do everything for you and you can be out of the room somewhere else. We'll go through how to set it up, how to tweak the automation to go exactly to your preferences, and tips to clean it up so that you can make it the best combo video that you can possibly make. All right, let's go. If you don't know, I'm Wisely. I am a Melee, PM, and Rivals commentator. I TO at a bunch of Smash Nationals, uh, but I also stream Smash, speedrunning, and variety indie games on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and the weekends. If any of that sounds cool or piques your interest, I'd super appreciate a follow here and over on Twitch. Thank you. All right, so to make this work, we're going to need Slippy, Clippy, a way to record your screen like OBS or XSplit, and a video editing software. I personally use Premiere. To set this up, I'm going to start with what I'm assuming you already have, which is Slippy. If you've gotten this far, I assume that you've already been playing Rollback Melee through Slippy. If you haven't downloaded it already, there's a link in the doobly-doo. Make sure you have that and the Slippy desktop app. Uh, and if you're able to, major props to Fizzy, please send him some money. He deserves the world right now. Uh, get all of that set up and then come back. First, we're going to check some settings to make sure that things are in easy to access locations. Open up the Dolphin version you use for Slippy. Go into Configuration, go to GameCube, and make sure Save Slippy Replays is checked. Double check where these saves are going to and make sure you can find it again easily. Alright, next, open up Project Clippy. This is a program that lets you entirely automate Twitch and OBS via Slippy. Like, you can have it change scenes when a game starts, or when a character spawns, or when someone gets a kill, stuff like that. It's really dope. Definitely mess around with everything later, but right now, we're going to use Clippy to automatically find, isolate, and play back our clips. Now, go into the replay processor in Clippy. Make sure the SLP replay directory is pointing to the same file path as the saved replays from Slippy that we found earlier. Next, go to Find Highlights. Choose if you want Clippy to search for combos or conversions. Combos are any strings where the opponent is hit within 45 frames of leaving hit stun. Conversions are a little bit looser requirements, and it finds any highlights when your opponent is hit again within 45 frames of touching the ground. Combos will typically look a little bit cooler while conversions happen more often, but think about your playstyle, character, the kinds of strings you typically hit, that kind of thing. Quality versus quantity. I usually don't delete files because I like to study VODs and I load the output files right away, but both of these are totally up to you. Now go into settings because this is where it's gonna get really cool. You can make different profiles that look for different things and like choose how crazy you want the combos to be, a bunch of different stuff. Right now you're on a default profile, but I suggest making a new one so that you can mess with settings without changing what the default actually is. You can make it filter for only combos performed by certain characters. You don't want to see all the cool combos your opponents get on you. Here's how you make it for only your main or your secondaries. Minimum combo length and percent are self-explanatory. You're choosing how much needs to happen in the string for it to be highlighted. You can even change the percent for specific characters. So like, if you're a character that tends to end things with a large move like Puff Rest or Samus Charge Shot, you might want to up that so that your combo filter isn't finding just that move by itself. Next are the options that filter out more stuff. I use Combo Must Kill, Exclude CPUs, I don't exclude Chain Grabs, and I exclude Wobbling, but like, obviously that's all up to you. In advanced options, there's more stuff to really tweak exactly what you're looking for. 
but don't feel the need to change it. Uh, just explore everything and you'll be able to find something that really fits your play style. All right, now we're at the fun part. Go back to Replay Processor and process them replays. This will make a new JSON file. If you have load output into Dolphin when complete, it'll play automatically. Otherwise, go to Playback Queue and load the JSON file in there and then hit play. This will just begin to cycle through every combo that matches the profile you set up from every game you've ever played in Slippy. No need to search through your matches, no need to even remember if you got the combo or not. I found things that I totally forgot I ever did. Clippy is going to find everything for you. At this point, make sure that you have OBS or XSplit open. Set it to record and just chill. You just have it record on your screen and you get a look at some cool combos or leave the room and cook dinner. All right, finally, you're going to take all of that footage you just got and put it into your video editor. Drop in a backing track and do as much or little editing as you'd like. I mean, you should definitely cut out the spots between games while it's loading the next combo where there's a white screen. Um, but like, obviously any stylistic choices are free game. This is all up to you. If you're just trying to take the footage, put in a song and cut that out without any other editing, two hours tops, you have a combo video and you are ready to share it with the world. So final heads up, Clippy uses the Slippy desktop apps Dolphin to do playback, not the Slippy version of Dolphin. If you want to disable game music, make it widescreen, add in your custom skins, anything like that, that's the version of Dolphin you need to change. The desktop apps Dolphin, not Slippy. The replay playback Dolphin is not the same. You can find the file path for this in the settings of the Slippy desktop app. If you've made it this far, hope this helps. Thank you so much for watching, and actually, please send me these combo videos. Link them in the comments or send them to me on Twitter. I would love to see what people make using this. All right, thank you all, and I will see you all next time. Now, go into the replay processor in Slippy. Sorry, now, go into the replay process pro